For the past year and a half, I've been building out my smart home. And one of the purchases that I have the biggest love-hate relationship with is my battery-powered smart blind motors. Sure, they look great and they work really well. But as I briefly mentioned in a previous video, when the battery and one of these things go flat, it's a real ball ache. It doesn't happen that often, maybe every six to eight weeks, but inevitably one of the blinds will get stuck halfway down when it's due to close at sunset. And it's stuck this way until I plug in this stupidly long USB cable to a power outlet, wait for it to charge just the right amount, and then it can be unstuck. Because it's an electric motor, there's no manual way to lower the blind when it's stuck. And any pervert from the street can just stare into my house as they walk down past my windows. It's really annoying, and it's made me seriously hate battery-powered smart home devices. In a recent video, I spoke with some smart home experts, and they recommended Somfy blinds which were plugged into the mains electricity. This sounded like a great idea, until I realised that replacing my blinds would cost over a thousand British pounds, which was a waste of money since the blinds I had worked perfectly well when the battery was full, which was most of the time. But in this video, I'm going to show you how I solved this problem once and for all, for less than a hundred pounds. Let's take a look. If I had my time again, I'd have tried harder to get the electricians to wire up some power to the top of the window frames during the renovations so that I could get some hardwired blind motors. But that was going to be far too expensive and disruptive to do now that we've patched up all the holes and got the decorators in. If you're building a new smart home from scratch, I'd suggest wiring some power to the corners of your windows. Even if you're not looking to get smart blinds right now, having the power cables available to you will make this much easier if you decide to take the plunge later on. To solve my blind motor battery problem, I was going to have to find a way to either get notified before the battery discharges so that I can charge it up proactively, or find a way to automatically and regularly charge the battery without having these dumb long cables hanging out. Not only are these cables in the way and they look ugly, but the dog absolutely loves to chew on them. Proactively charging the blinds when they got to a certain battery level seemed to be the most sensible option. I already have a home assistant automation that checks the battery levels of my smart home sensors once a week and sends me a notification if any of them are getting low. Perhaps I could just use the same sort of notifications for my blinds. Sadly, the specific version of these ZemiSmart Zigbee blind motors that I have don't report the battery percentage to Zigbee to MQTT. I believe that maybe other versions or revisions of this blind motor do, but not mine. There's a small chance that I could sign up for a Tuya developer account, buy a Tuya gateway, pair one of these blinds with it and start inspecting the data packets that flow around the place, but seriously, I cannot be asked. And if it were possible, I assume that the awesome Zigbee to MQTT open source community would have figured it out by now, because they're a bunch of legends. The next option was to try and use a solar panel to keep the blind motor batteries topped up using the power of the sun. Zemismart makes some blind motors that come with solar panel attachments, but unfortunately not in the size that I needed for these particular blinds. I bought one of their solar panels anyway, on the off chance that it would work, but it didn't. I didn't really need an official Zemi Smart solar panel though. These motors charge via a 5 volt USB-C connection, so any solar panel with enough wattage should be able to do the job. I scoured AliExpress for something that might be suitable, but most of the panels were physically quite large as they were designed to charge mobile phones and tablets. After a bit of searching, I found a smaller one that claimed to output 5 watts, which was allegedly what I needed to charge these blinds, and I ordered them. I blue tacked the solar panel to my glass, and I plugged it into the blind motor. It's working. Unlimited power. At first, everything looked good, and the lights started flashing to indicate that power was connected. But after a day, I started to realise that the charge level was going down instead of up. The solar panels seemed to be discharging the blind. It is definitely getting lower. I assumed that the panels only produced the 5 watts they claimed when they were operating under perfect conditions with full direct sunlight, something we don't often see here in London. I went back to AliExpress and found a 10 watt versions, double the power, but also double the size. I swapped this out and again things started to look great. The power level even went up a bit after the first day. My god, it worked. Unlimited power. But after a week, the same thing happened, and the blinds were actually discharging at a much faster rate than they would without having any panel attached, and eventually they discharged entirely. That's the end of that experiment. 
I give up. It looks like I'd need to find a different way to solve the problem. The solution I came up with was running a bunch of USB-C cables into a USB hub, hiding it all in some thin ducting out of view, and then routing the cables into this handy cable run and out behind some furniture to a wall outlet. I then connected a suitably powered USB charger to a local Byte smart plug so that I could use Home Assistant to turn it on and off and charge the blinds on a schedule. It's definitely not recommended to leave your blinds charging permanently, especially when you're not home, because these sorts of things have been known to occasionally catch fire. And fire is bad. If you charge them regularly, these blinds don't actually need to be topped up that often, so I created a Home Assistant schedule helper that turns on for an hour, three times a week, at times when we're likely to be home and when the sun is likely to be shining on my roof to generate solar power. I then created an automation that's triggered when this schedule either turns on or off and use that to control my smart plugs. When the schedule turns on, the automation checks to make sure at least someone is home. If no one's home, it doesn't charge the blinds that day. When the schedule turns off, the automation switches the smart switches off. These smart switches also get turned off by my low power mode script, which gets triggered when we either leave the house or when we go to bed at night, just to make sure that the blinds are definitely not charging then. I've got this set up on most of my blinds now, but there are two that I can't do this for because they're nowhere near a power outlet. For those, I still need to use the old school long USB-C cable method, and it's annoying, but less annoying than it used to be. Have you guys got any suggestions on how I can sort out these remaining two blinds? please let me know in the comments below. And whilst you're down there, why not subscribe to the channel? I regularly release videos like this about my smart home, what works well and what doesn't. If that's your jam, hit subscribe, and then together we can make your home smarter.